Good evening everyone, it's Tina from Rainbow Creations. Um, I'm going to have another go <clears throat> at either making a mess or making something beautiful. So, I've already mixed my paints and if this works out okay, I'll put all the uh, mixtures um, in the description. One thing I will tell you though is that I am actually using Floetrol tonight, um, which I haven't used for a little while. So if, uh, Come back to that for this. Right, so I'm just laying down a pillow. Um, this was a bit of house paint that I had left, mixed with a little bit of white acrylic um, and water. So I just put that down. Get it all out. I remember to put gloves on as well. Especially as I'm using um, house paint because uh, it's not so easy to get off. I might just scooch it around a little bit, see how, how it moves. Hopefully that's enough. It seems to be moving quite freely. Okay, I'll leave it about there. Right, the paints, colours I'm using tonight is it's quite a deep turquoisey colour. Um, I've got it fairly thick, so straight across. And back again. I'm actually going to use all the paint I've mixed um, on this one. So if this goes wrong. I'll have to start again from scratch. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bit of gold. Again, it's really quite thick. Right, so a bit of that to put on the top. Then it's called light green, but it's sort of quite a apple green. Okay, put in some copper. Gold on top of the copper. It's actually quite a small amount of um, paint I've actually used to mix these up. So, right, and this is my black um, which actually is quite thick still I'm just going to add a little bit more water to this one excuse me a minute just a little drop um, maybe a little bit more That's probably per usual. I now probably put too much in and made it too thin. We'll see. I think that'll be alright. Okay, so I'm hoping this is actually going to be my sun activator. Or cell creator, or whatever you want to call it. So now, hairdryer. 
Um, this isn't that easy to use because to get it cold, I have to hold that button in. So hold the button in, turn it on fairly high. Um, one way so now I'm gonna to have to do it towards me I'm gonna blow it out a little bit more around here because uh, it's quite heavy with the black there let it sit for a minute uh, there's a couple of big air bubbles here I'm just gonna pop I see any more because I've got house paint on here I can't really use the torch um, because I could end up having a bit of a fire on my hands so right I'm now going to try and tilt it a little bit Actually, gotta go that way first. Take it off over the side, bring it back. Come that way. Alright, I've gone off over the edge that way. Get over to that edge. Looking down. This way. Stop. Take it back. I'm just going to bring it down to this corner. I don't want to actually lose too much more paint, so. Side. Okay, I'm just going to put it down for a second. Just get a cloth. Looks a bit like um, iceberg iceberg scene. 
just need maybe some water going through. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. Yeah, it's pretty white. I wasn't expecting so much white, really. There's some pretty bits in here, though. Uh, I'll move that up a little bit. Get the middle bit to go up a bit more. I seem to have all the paint way over that side. Just move it up that way a little bit. It's quite a lot of marbling on this one. As I said, not quite what I was expecting. Um, hmm. It's a tiny little um, eel donkey looking at me there. It's his face. <laughs> There's a few nice sounds and things in here. Maybe the other way up. Let's see what it looks like. Around that way. Around that way. Actually, I could turn this into the background of a painting quite easily. It is a snow landscape. Um, I can see that now looking at it from this direction you can probably see it too. Hopefully you can. If you look at it that way around um, you'll be able to see like a path and falling snow and some water. Um, so I, yeah, I would definitely use that as a background as long as it dries okay. Um, so that will be one to be revisited in the future. So here's his pathway. There's uh, nice snowy bits, a bit of rock exposed there, some icy water. Uh, interesting. I'll do something with it anyway. So anyway, if you like what you've seen um, and you'd like to see some more, It'd be really lovely if you would subscribe. I'm very new to doing videos. I've only got seven subscribers. So your subscription would be much appreciated. Your support would be wonderful. Um, and if you'd like to see more and you do subscribe, hit the bell. And you'll get notifications next time I put one up. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll see you next time.